Finding a job in today's market can be wild. First, I'm going to start by going over the benefits of government jobs. As you can see here, they have an entire page dedicated to the benefits from the health insurance, dental, student loan repayment. And as many of you may know, we are carrying some of the highest student loan debt ever in history. Is my current student debt 191,000? I started with 80,000. Do you have student loan debt? Uh yes, $10,795 student loan, so it's your minimum payment like 125. In addition, they offer flexible spending accounts, insurance, and other additional benefits that you can read about later on. So if you're looking for a technical or analytical role, I'm coming to you today with four jobs from entry level, zero to three years of experience, to experience roles for those of you who have experience but are struggling to find a job. The first job is from the company called Home Safe. The job is for a specialist. Do not be deterred by the location. This is a fully remote location, and this company is offering several positions across the United States that all offer remote job. So be sure to check out the website, check out their career section, so you can find a location that's closer to you that's offering a remote opportunity. Let's look at the job description here. The beginning tells you about the company, what they require, what to expect if you become a part of their team. But most importantly, we will want to see if we qualify. Now, this is one of the entry level roles. So let's look at the responsibilities here. Make note if you have any of these responsibilities, you're going to be reviewing requests through their automated system. Your job is to implement continuous improvements there. In addition, you're going to pilot or outbound flows from warehouse to customers and make sure the communication to the customer is done proactively. Okay, so you have to be a people person here. Note under the education requirements. All you need is a high school diploma with one year of experience. Since this agency is involved in government, you have to be a U.S. citizen moving down to the key skills they're looking for. You have to be able to learn the technology quickly, manage multiple priorities, and ability to work in a fast-paced environment. I used to work in retail and sales, and I'm used to having to work in a fast-paced environment. And that actually helped me out when I made my transition over to a career in tech. They're just looking for basic computer skills. One of the key things we look for in making sure a job is real and you're not coming across a fake ghost job is looking that the skills and the education matches the requirements, the entry level that it is categorized. So far, so good. It looks like everything is adding up here. Here, they offer several benefits listed here. They are equal opportunity employer. And here is the apply now button. Go to this website, look at the other jobs that they have posted that might be in a state that's closer to you and good luck in applying for this job with HomeSafe. All of the links today will be in the description. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you need help with your resume, ChatGPT, which is an AI tool that is very popular now, very easy to use. I created a list and a guide to help anyone who is new to using AI for how to ask the right questions and how to get ChatGPT to review your resume to review your job description. This is for a systems support specialist. It is 100% remote and the hourly rate is listed here as 21 to $36 an hour. It is an entry level position. This one is based out of the Richmond, Washington area, but it is remote. It is a full-time job. And the best thing about this job for the clearance, it says the ability to obtain. That is a key word here because people who have their security clearance, a whole new world of opportunities will open for you. It's safe to say that you will be set for life. Be sure to go to their website and look at the other jobs they have available if you are interested in the benefits that this company has to offer as a government agency. On the website, they give you the opportunity to use your Indeed or LinkedIn profile. It tells you what the company is about. They're using the software development lifecycle 
in the Use Agile methodology. So you should be familiar with that. As the system support specialist, it tells you that there is a technical writing component. You will be supporting and working with the entire organization, which is great because you will want to be working with people that are across the agency at different levels to expand your networking options. And that's going to help strengthen your future as you're making those uh, critical networking relationships. You're going to be assisting with the documentation, the technical writing, and the project activities. You are supporting managers, project managers, and software engineers in all phases of their project. You're going to be assisting with the writing and the business processes. You're going to be creating flow charts and diagrams. You're going to be assisting with the user manuals as well as perform all your work safely and in compliance with their obligations. So as long as you know how to follow directions, you're an organized person and you're you know a good person to work with, you really should have no issues here. You should be able to go into this role, but always make sure during the interview process that you ask questions about the company culture, the environment, the training, um, how they handle difficult situations and scenarios, whether it's with the customers or with the employees, so that you get a better idea if you're actually going to be a fit for their cultural environment. Going down to the minimum qualifications. Uh, first, they mention a degree in these various topics, but they also mention basic knowledge of technical writing in addition to technical editing. Again, they have the skills and abilities here that you are self-motivated and self-directed which is critical in this day and age. A lot of companies expect you to hit the ground running. They may not spend a lot of time training you or they may not have the staff to train you. So they are expecting you to be proactive. If you don't have everything, if you're not familiar with everything, do not be scared about that. Usually the items that are preferred are near the top and those that they're a bit more flexible on the low side are usually listed at the bottom. And also clarify if it's work from home or work from anywhere, some companies do not want you to either leave the state or leave the country. So make sure you get clear on that. If you're interested in that, go ahead and good luck. Our next job is an IT specialist. You have the summary over on the right hand side here. The salary is a respectable 88,000 to 115,000. This will be a great way to get your foot in the door and get some experience. Okay. This is also a remote job as discussed earlier. There is no security clearance required and you are a part of a bargaining unit which means this is part of a union joe you're late what are you gonna do fire me ah! All right, if you just graduated high school you're in your 20s or 30s with no direction in life you don't really want to go to college you need to get you a job in the union building trades when you join a union you become part of an organization you pay monthly dues and they get you a job. You have the opportunity to get in with a union organization. That usually means your job will be protected. You won't have to worry about being fired without any due cause or reason. And that is a common complaint happening now. And let's go down to the duties and requirements. As you can see here, they recruit a lot of people, 16,000 people of all different talents and work with all types of other companies. You're going to be working in several business segments, engaging in moderate to complex business processes or across multiple segments of business. These are your responsibilities, whether it's to collect, analyze and document your client's business needs and the system needs. And then you're going to come up with a solution. You're going to act as a liaison between these people, between your client and between the IT team. You are going to assist with developing, writing, and communicating those requirements. And this is very similar to my role. I am a program analyst, but I work with local government. And I do a lot of combination of programming, systems analysis, business analysis. So it's very common in this role if you have a background where you've been working with people, Maybe you were a data analyst, or maybe you were a financial analyst, or maybe you're a career changer and you have the people skills. You maybe were in sales or account executive, and now you want to move into more technical roles because they're higher paying. This will also be a, another great way to get your foot in the door. Let's move down to the requirements. As you can see, they have a normal schedule for the requirements here. 
You have to be a U.S. citizen, as we already described. As you can see here, it does mention the IT related. It mentions the same four set of soft skills that we talked about earlier. And they do tell you that what you need to submit, the type of specialized experience, they need just one year of experience. The experience has to demonstrate your accomplishments in these computer project assignments with a wide range of knowledge. And they list exactly what that is. If you are doing any kind of self-study, if you are a self-taught dev, at least you know and you have a guideline for what exactly you should be focusing on. It tells you here, you're going to be a .NET developer working with C-sharp language, programming language. This is what I do in my current agency. And I do find um, a common amongst government agencies to use similar technologies. I find that Python is more common with corporations and private sector. And I find that c .net seems to be common amongst the public sector and working with government agencies. And the best thing of all about this, no education substitution at this grade level. It doesn't appear that any degree is required. So are you happy to hear that? Let me know in the comments because it's so hard to find a job that does not have an education requirement. This one is focused on your role as a specialist and working with people, being accountable for your work, making decisions, your integrity, your honesty, your ethical work, how you self-manage yourself, your technical software engineering skills. So as you can see, there's a combination. This is not all technical. There's a misconception when you're changing careers and you want to break into tech, that you have to have a lot of technical background and a lot of programming and coding experience. But from everything that you just saw that we covered, there was a great deal of people skills involved here. And the technical part was moderate, was low to moderate, I would say. So good luck to you. I hope you go ahead and apply. Please let me know in the comments if you apply for this job. I would love to hear your success story. And for my people who are interested in data analysis, I found a data management specialist position. This company, Forest Marsh, they work with government agencies. Now, a lot of the jobs on their website require an active security clearance, but I kept digging and I think I found one that will be open to the public for you. And reach out to them if you have questions, if you're not sure that you can apply. This job is remote. It is paying $67,000 to $75,000. It is a full-time position, no contract. For this company for Marsh, they are working with researchers, advisors, and they're working together to help shape the system that people rely on. You're going to be using a lot of data analytical tools. And if we go down here to the responsibilities, it lets you know you're going to be collaborating with your internal analysis team to gather the data requirements. You're going to develop and implement systematic data collection and testing plans to verify their gathering. So the requirements, you are going to need a degree in statistics, mathematics, social science, public policy, or related field. Now that's interesting here because what that says to me is I don't necessarily need a mathematical degree or a STEM degree. As long as you've done some analysis in a previous position, you may qualify for this. They're looking for three to five years of professional working experience. Academia project or intern experience is acceptable. Most of the time, companies do not want to accept your volunteer or internship experience. But this company will, okay? You have to be a US citizen and they will do a background check. They're offering a company culture that values balance, but make sure you ask the right questions to make sure. And the salary is really good. They list the career map here, which is great. So if you're trying to move up, they tell you here, data management analyst two is a position you can look forward to. Everyone's asking for remote, so my goal is to bring you as many remote jobs as possible that can open up new opportunities for you. Let's look at this company, Accentum. Now, I went through their website and most of their jobs were also requiring an active security clearance, but I think I got a good one for you. This one said, not applicable. Contact them and find out for sure, because if this is open to the public, then I just got a gem for you. 
It's an information assurance analyst. It is a senior level. You do require some experience. You have to be a U.S. citizen. They are partnering with the government to reduce the risk associated with delivering capabilities to its users. Accentium is seeking an experienced information assurance analyst to join our team. Carry out procedures to ensure that all information systems, products, and services meet organizational standards and end user requirements. You will be acting as a subject matter expert. Let's look at what the background entails. Cybersecurity, look at that. You got a double whammy here. And if they give you the opportunity to obtain a security clearance, you are set for life. If you have some certifications, that's even better. In addition, it says additional four years of experience may be substituted for a degree. They prefer someone who actually has hands-on experience and they will give you credit for that. Now, if this sounds like a great opportunity for you, then go ahead, look into this and apply. So good luck. I hope you liked this video. Please share it with people who you know are job hunting right now and they need a step up.